line. In my previous video, you have learned about longitudes and latitudes. Now, we will first of all learn about longitude and time. Longitude and time. You all know that earth rotates on its axis. Earth rotates on its own axis and complete one rotation in 24 hours. That means 360 degree longitudes are covered. 360 degree longitudes are covered in a period of 24 hours. That is one day. It takes a rotate on its axis. It takes 360 degree longitudes to rotate in 24 hours. That is one day. In one day, it takes 360 degree longitude means for each hour. How many degrees it will take? We will see that calculation. 360 degree divided by 24 hours. That equals to 50 degree. That means earth rotates 15 degree each hour. Earth rotates 15 degree each hour. It takes 15 degree rotation in each hour. Next, if we, you have known about the each hour it takes 15 degree. For 1 degree, how much time it takes? We will see that. 1 hour equals how many minutes? 60 minutes. 15 degree. 60 divided by 15 degree equals 4 minutes. That means earth rotates 1 degree. 1 degree in 4 minutes. Earth rotates 1 degree in 4 minutes. Earth rotates 15 degree each hour. And it takes 1 degree to rotate in 4 minutes. Okay. Next, local time. Local time is the time according to the longitude of a place or according to the position of the sun of that place is known as or it is called as local time. That means the local time refers to the time of a particular place. That is the time when the midday sun is directly the midday sun is directly overhead. That is 12 noon. That is different places different Places in the same country have their own local time. That means all places are all places situated on same meridian. All places are situated on same meridian and have their own local time. Every longitude, every Longitude have their own local time. Next, we will know about the standard time. As we know about the local time, as the local time varies from place to place, it would create a considerable, considerable confusion in each place of its own local time. By the local time there was a confusion of places. Confusion to the people. So for that sake we meant standard time. In order to in order to avoid the confusion in many countries they followed a uniform time of the country. There was a uniform time throughout the country. Such time is based on the central meridian. Such 
time is based on the central meridian or meridians in which most important city are located this uniform of time is followed throughout a country is called as standard time of that country in india 82 and a half east longitude is considered as the standard meridian of that country so 82 and a half east longitude where it will come we will see on the map okay here is the 82 and a half degree east longitude line of longitude it passes through the mirzapur mirzapur of alhaba in uttar pradesh this longitude passes through the 82 and a half degree east longitude it is passes through the mirzapur of alhaba in uttar pradesh on this line only so many states were passes through okay then first that is the 182 and a half degree east line of longitude 82 and a half degree east longitude it passes through the mirzapur of alhabad in uttar pradesh so many states will uh, there on that passes through that place so here that meridian which passes through on that place is called as indian standard time indian standard time our india has a single ist ist full form indian standard time it is 5 hours and 30 minutes ahead of gmt gmt means green which mean time it is ahead of 5 hours 13 minutes of GM Greenwich Meridian. Next, we will see the time, know about the time zones. Time zones are divided by line of longitudes. They are divided into 15 degree, 15 degree each hour. Each hour they are divided into 15 degree. There are 24 time zones in world. There are 24 time zones. Our earth, our globe is divided into 24 such time zones. So, for the convenience to the people, they have made time zones. As I told you, there are 24 time zones. That means from meridian, from the green which or prime meridian. Here on the eastern side, 12 hours. On the western side, hemisphere, 12 hours. 12 plus 12, there are 24 time zones. There are 24 time zones. In 1906, in 1906, the Indian Standard Time was introduced. Before that, before 1906, there was two time zones. Time zones are set up by the 15 degree. 15 degree each hour. That means our India lies in 5 time zone and also here 6 time zone that is here also 1 hour here also 1 hour there is difference from Gujarat to Arunachal Pradesh 2 hours difference was there 2 hours difference was there in India there were 2 time zones so after there was a confusion to the people because here in near the Arunachal Pradesh, they have the early sunrise. So, who are working people, they will be 
uh, work for long hours. So for that sake, for the convenience of the people, they made the 82 and a half degree line of longitude. That is the where to time setup. So for that sake, how it came 82 and a half degree from the line of the 5 time zone and the 6 time zone, they have the degree of 68.7 the line of longitude and 97.25 longitude. If you subtract those two, you will get the difference of 30 degree means 29 point something it will come. So 30 degree, that 30 degree has considered as the 82 and a half degree east longitude as the standard meridian. Uh, the problem to the people, they have the confusion. There was a confusion. Still there was a confusion to the people as we know about the local time and standard time and time zones. There was a set up. Then also there was a confusion to the people. So for to clear the confusion, that was international date line was introduced for the circum navigators for the who sail over the islands or from country to country or from the satellite views. For that sake, they made international date line. International date line it is an imaginary line on earth surface from north pole to south pole from north pole to south pole it is the line passing through the line passing through 180 degree meridian diametrically opposite to the GMT GMT means Greenwich mean time international date line passing through mid of Pacific Ocean. See children, here is the international date line. It starts from North Pole and it take curves, curve at, it take curve at Bering Strait in between Alaska and Siberia and it is zigzag. As it is, the international date line is a longitude it is a longitude but it is not straight. It is in zigzag till south pole. North pole to south pole it is zigzag. Okay. Why it is zigzag? Because according to their country's convenience they have made zigzag. There is Confusion to avoid this confusion, to avoid this confusion of dates, the line is drawn where the sea lies, only sea lies, not land. See here, children, you can see here the line is drawn only on sea. Okay, it lies on sea, not land. It is in zigzag for the convenience of the countries. So it is drawn zigzag. When you cross this line, when you cross this line, the day and date changes. Okay? If you cross, if you cross it traveling on westward, on westward you gain a day if you if you cross a traveling by eastward you will lose a day for example if you move from america to asia you lose a day from asia to america if you move you gain a Day. The concept to make this international date line 
to make this date line the concept is to have one country one date for your assignment we have one calculation is there you can do the calculation as i told you 15 degree each hour it takes to rotate or rotate 15 degree each hour like that only you can calculate the other degrees also you can calculate other degrees by this calculation okay thank you